Good afternoon and welcome to this Friday, end of the week again, Friday afternoon reflection. We begin with a prayer. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who went about doing good, and both opened the ears of the deaf and made the dumb to speak, teach thy people after his example to pity and succour thy deaf children who need their help. May the Holy Spirit bless our efforts to carry to them the knowledge of thy saving grace, and may they so serve thee in the body of their humiliation, that thereafter they may wear the body of thy glory, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I was in church here a little while ago, actually preparing orders of service for our 80th anniversary celebration of the Battle of Britain, commemoration of the Battle of Britain on the 20th of September. Um, but as I arrived at church, there outside was a van with two people and they come to inspect the stained glass windows as requested by our church warden. And I let them in and they looked at the windows and so on and, uh, and they're going to make a report. But it isn't that really that occurred to me, but rather more. But we get very used to our churches. We get very used to what they are. We fail to look around us and see the beauty. We fail to look around us and see the colours especially in this church, with our, as I've often described it before, wild Victorian brickwork. As the camera pans out just a little, you can see a little bit of it behind me in the chancel. But it is those stained glass windows, and we have several different sorts here. I've learned an amount from those who were here inspecting them. Some of them more beautiful than others, but that really rather depends on our flavour, what it is we personally like. And I discussed with a um, particular one that I is a favourite of mine in this church. But even then, I, as, as, as they left and I was sort of tidying up and so on, and I was thinking, you know, we don't really look. The great west window in this church is beautiful. And of course, it has an image of Christ at the top of it in his glory. And every window tells a story. Stained glass windows were invented when the church Bible was in Latin. And people couldn't read Latin, only the vicar could read it because he was a learned one. So things change today. And the message from the pulpit was reinforced by the messages, the stories told in the stained glass windows around the church. It just struck me that, and linked back gently to the whole passing of life, we don't tend to stop and just look around us. Look at the beauty of the world. Look at the beauty of our immediate circumstances. Even when they're difficult, there is still beauty. It just struck me that we need perhaps to look up a little more and see the beauty. Amen. While we look to look up and see the beauty, we continue to pray for those who find life more difficult at these times. Almighty and everlasting God, the comfort of the sad, the strength of them that suffer, let the prayers of thy children who cry out of any tribulation come unto thee, and unto every soul that is distressed, Grant thou mercy, grant relief, grant refreshment, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we, being part of God's creation and part of the beauty in it, we ask for the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit upon all of us and all those whom we love, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.